FaceTime or we're bad. Oh, oh. Girl, you're perfect, but you're fucking young. Since it's oh, 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 it gone. But girl, you stole my heart, but you're fucking young. What up? Loudy on the mic, and I'm glad to be back on the mic. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has been a minute since I uploaded it on, on this channel. It's been a minute since I uploaded this channel. What up? So, while I wasn't uploading, I was thinking, like, what should, I want to have more content like this. Like, I want to have more talk and more ranty stuff on my gaming channel. Not like complaining rants, but like, you know, this random stuff, like gaming rants. Like, while I'm talking about the gaming industry, how, like, you know, they kind of improving. They, they, they kind of improving. I don't know about Assassin's Creed, but, like, you know, they did. You know, it seems like they're improving. 2014 was bad. But anyway, that's for that's another video. Um, On this video, I want to talk about Ed and Eddie and what I think of the characters. Now, I really don't have to do this. I just randomly wanted to do this because I was think, I was watching the other day. I was like, yo, this is my favorite show. I absolutely love Ed and Eddie, and every time I watch it, I start to get emotional. Not really get emotional, but, like, you know, every one of those days where, like, you know, I just enjoy seeing Ed, Double D, and Eddie's friendship. Like, how they've been through so much stuff, but they're still friends. I enjoy seeing that and stuff, and it brings absolute joy to my heart. So, without further ado, my opinions on the Ed and the Eddie characters. On the Ed, Ed, and Eddie characters and stuff. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to start off with Ed. Now, Ed, I like Ed because he has no worries. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has, like, Ed has a unibrow. He, he, like, you know, he bathes himself, he bathes himself in gravy. His room is just, like, you know, basically the very cliche look for a dude. Not for a dude, but for a boy. Because, like, you know, it's a kid's show. It's a very cliche look. Like, some boys are, like, clean up the room. They like to stay dirty. Not dirty, but they like, to, like, you know, they're... They don't like clean up the room. It's their own place to be. It's their own space to be themselves. And that's why I like Ed because he stays being himself and he doesn't care or take anything. Maybe you'll, maybe like a couple episodes he'll get like annoyed or stuff. But Ed is always smiling. He's always happy. Like you know, that's why I like Ed. Ed is just. I love Ed. start off next on Double D. Not start off, but let's get on Double D right now. Double D, like, you know, out of all the three Eds, he's, you know, he's the smartest, of course. Obviously, he's the smartest. I like Double D, though, but, like, you know, Double D. It's like that one episode with Double D, like, you know, with Ed and Ed and Eddie. Wait, no. It was Ed. Yeah, it was Ed and Eddie. They got the report cards and they got, like, a bad grade, and Double D snuck off and showed, and, like, you know, like, showed their parents. Like, you know, if that was me, like, you know, I wouldn't do nothing. I, if I would let, I would let, like, you know, I would let them get in trouble if their parents found out. I wouldn't, like, you know, try and get involved myself. Like, Double D, what he did, that was, like, that was really unloyal. Like, how you gonna do that to me? Like, I know I'm doing wrong, but at the same time, you're supposed to go with it. Because why? Because we best friends! That's why! Wait, who's next? Who, who? Eddie? Eddie, you there? Man, let's get on Eddie right now, bro, man. Eddie? Eddie look like he ready to, like, you know, Eddie, man, he look like he ready, he look like he ready to do some stuff. Like, you know, look like he just now got into high school. He ready, like, you know, to talk to all the, all the, all the dimes, all the hot girls. Like, he ready, like, you know, like, like, you know, like, throughout their friendship, Eddie was, like, kind of, like, the one that got them mostly in trouble. I mean, Ed, like, at times, Eddie can be annoying, but, you know, that's what makes Eddie, Eddie. Like, you know, he's short. He's like has like a lot of energy, like you know. I, I just like you know Eddie. This is Eddie loud. Shoot, I encourage Eddie to be even. Not to mention Eddie is loud. I'm loud too, and I like you know I, I gotta respect the loudness. Like you know what I'm saying like I like Eddie's loud mouth self. Eddie like Eddie he funny. I like Eddie he's funny. He's always getting hurt. And like you know is that like he's like one of those characters. Uh oh, it's time for Sarah. Sarah, I would say that Sarah's like, you know, the generic little sister. Like, you know, like she does whatever she wants, gets her way. I don't see how, because I've never seen Ed, uh, Ed's dad. Because, like, you know, that daddy little princess type thing. 
I've never seen I've never seen it Ed's dad, so I'm not even sure if she's like I don't know. But really and truly, like real talk, Sarah. <sighs> I hate you, Sarah. You always abusing Ed and getting and you always like doing things to him. I don't appreciate that. You need to get your ass whooped on your wall, but I hope she gets you. And also you be trying to flirt with double D. He twice your age. You turn into a young thigh, you a thigh train, you a tater thigh. You just, uh, do your homework. Shit. Uh oh, it's time for Jimmy. Jimmy, man, Jimmy, like, you know, Jimmy funny. I like Jimmy. Like, you know, I really do. Really, I do like Jimmy. I don't know why. I, do. I just like Jimmy. There's something about him. It's just funny or just cool. Like, you know, Jimmy, like, you know, he not, like, he, he like, you know, he's like one of those characters that, oh, just like, you know, is not afraid to show his sensitive side, which, which which is probably why he's like, you know, he's like having sex with Sarah. I'm pretty sure about that. Like, I'm sure Jimmy is knocking them ankles loose as Teependale would say. I'm sure it's, I'm sure he like, you know, he getting a taste of that puss, Dashy would say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jimmy, I would, like, well, I couldn't, wow, he really can't get a taste cause of, because of that big retainer around his, around his face. But Jimmy, like, salutes to you, Cuddy. I see you doing that. Johnny and Plank. Now, Johnny and Plank, they're like these two together. I like Plank because he's a generic, like, you know, the, he's like, you know, like the generic, you know, thing that kids would do. Like, you know, like they'll get like something and they'll make me your imaginary friend and they'll pretend that it's actually real, which is actually dope. And, well, not dope, but it's like, you know, it shows that, you, like, you know, you have like a wild imagination back then. Like, and the thing that's dope about Johnny is that Johnny's a bone breaker. Like, y'all see that episode where, like, you know, Eddie made him, like, really annoying and stuff. And they got locked into, like, the little the little box where all Rolf's animals and stuff. Then Johnny still was, like, was, like, yeah, like, Eddie was trying to, like, offer him some cheap stuff. But Johnny was, like, nah, I want a quarter. Like, Johnny trying to get this money. I see you, bro. I see you. But Johnny was bone breaking up, y'all saw him. Not bone breaking, he was turfing. Like y'all see like y'all see that episode like that. It looked it, it looked it funny. Disgusting, kind of, but like you know, it looked it funny. Yo, it's time for Rolf. One of my you know, one of the he, he, Rolf is a funny character, to tell you the truth. He's like right next to Ed. Rolf is funny, but the thing about Rolf, he looked like Rolf is like middle age. If y'all see Rolf when he pulls the sleeve up, that man is is He's swole, bro. Like, he can rip off his shirt and everything. Like, you know, he's like, like he's not as strong as Ed. Because Ed, Ed is strong, y'all. I'm not sure if y'all know this, but Ed is strong. But Rolf, he looked like, like, you know, he, I don't know. He's like the oldest out of everybody. He looked like he, I don't know. I don't know. I guess Rolf was that kid. That always like you know was like always weird and all, but he was like always weird. But everybody always liked him, or like you know he always had like that one dude to hang with him, which is Kevin and stuff, which is Kevin or like you know stuff like that. Rolf, like look, like Rolf was always down to do some crazy stuff, like you know, like like Rolf down for I, I like Rolf personally. Shoot, shoot, be my friend, Rolf. <sighs> The Canker Sisters. Now, the Canker Sisters, I felt as though they all grown up. I feel as though all of them grown up to... Actually, no. Not all of them. I feel as though, like, you know, as they grow up, they start to separate more often, but they still stay in touch. Like, Lee, which is the girl who never shows her eyes and has the red hair, who's all, like, you know, Eddie, like, you know, Eddie's bae. I feel as though that she grown up and went to prison. And, like, you know, she's either, like, you know, the head hot show in the prison or something like that. Uh, I think her name is, uh, Marie, the one with the blue hair, the one who has a crush on a double D. I feel as though she grows up to be a lesbian, nothing against lesbians, I have nothing against y'all, but I felt as though she felt, I felt as though she grows up to be a lesbian. Like, just look at her. You don't feel as though that she'll be, like, you know, looking at the pool. And May, who is Ed's crush, the one with the blonde hair, I felt as though she grew up to be like really attractive. Like she had like the goofiest, manliest sounding voice, but she probably grew up to be grew up to be like one of the most attractive out of all all three sisters. Yep, sounds about accurate. 
Kevin, as always, I felt as though Kevin married his bike. And, uh, you know, him and his bike are running a good mechanical shop. And, like, you know, he he's making good money. He's making good money. Like, I felt as though him and Naz dated for, like, a little bit. But then Naz, like, you know, like, you know, she went her own path. And speaking of Naz, 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 Naz. I felt as though Naz grew up. Like, you know, she started singing. Have y'all ever noticed that Naz kind of reminds me of... Real talk, Naz actually reminds me of Taylor Swift a lot. Like, have y'all seen a picture of them side by side? That's... They, they look not, like, crazy alike, but they look like, you know, Naz, Naz has red lips. Taylor Swift is like, you know, she wears, like, red, red lipstick a lot, I think. And, like, you know, like, she was, like, one of those girls that, like, you know, like, like to have fun. And, like, you know, I feel as though Taylor, like, Taylor Swift like to have fun herself, too. Like, you know, like, you know, I'll be seeing her. She be hiking with Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. And, like, you know, like, she saw like she had fun. Uh, Naz, I feel as though she was also naive a little bit. I liked the Naz, though. She was cool. And she was funny. Most mature. Most mature is out of everybody. But she always got her behind with by Sarah. All right, speaking of Sarah, that's how I know how her and Ed are related. Like, Sarah, I saw one episode of Sarah picked up a car. And then she, like, you know, she threw it on ass. Like, dang, that's some strength right there. And that's all, folks. That's my opinions on the characters of the Ed and the Eddie. One of my favorite childhood shows. I love Ed and Eddie with a passion. I need to get more seasons. Because all I have is season two, I think. Either way, I need to get more seasons. I love Ed and Eddie. Ed and Eddie is like one of my favorite dopest shows that I watched growing up as a kid. And I really enjoyed its time. So, yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Vine, Twitter. Like my page on Facebook. And follow me on Trans, the virtual dancing floor. Like, you know, for all dancers. I, yeah, if y'all didn't know, I dance. I, I'm pretty good when it comes down to getting down. So, yeah. If you're interested in seeing me more, um, yeah, also I also have, like, two other channels. My main channel my second channel where I do my dancing vids at. Like, I don't know, like, the full dance video. I dance with my friends. Like, I should have more up. I'm going to try to upload more. I have some on me. But, like, you know, I'm going to try to upload them. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, um, I'll be going and stuff. So, um, yeah. Bye!